North. <laughs> uh, but right here in mid Michigan, <laughs> of course, we've been talking a lot about giving back and giving thanks to those in our community that made it better with Giving Tuesday yesterday. But this is really cool because one lady found a unique way to say thank you to caregivers right here in Lansing. That's right. And her name is Marjorie Hall, and she wrote a song to say thank you to nurses, aides, and caretakers who have helped her along the way. And Claudia got a chance to speak with her about that song. Claudia, tell us about it, please. Yeah, now like Marjorie. I've always wanted to write a song and I <laughs> learned that you're never too young or too old to write a song because she wrote her first song ever at 87 years young and it was her perfect way of saying thank you so here it is the caretaker take a listen What was the inspiration behind this song? Why did you want to write it? I've been in the hospital several times, so I wrote this song. Now the last time I was in the hospital. I'm the caretaker, yes the caretaker, take care of you. Marjorie Hall of Lansing has found herself in Sparrow Hospital a few times in recent years. And at home, nurses, aides, and caretakers have become a very important part of her daily routine. I'm doing this not for me, but for the hospital, and I want help for them. Marjorie knows just how hard her nurses, aides, and caretakers work, too. And in recent years, following the pandemic, Caretakers have been working harder, and caretaker shortages have only added to much of their care load. This has been going on for a long time. But nonetheless, the caretakers are still there for her. They're still there for all of us. You'll never walk alone. I'm the caretaker. I thought, well, maybe I could write a song. I said, okay, I'll try. It was during her last hospital visit, she knew she had to thank them. Or has music always been a big part of your life? Well, the Beatles, I like uh, Maria Lanza. Marjorie came to the United States from Liverpool in 1955. That's me, in Victoria Park. How old are you there? How old do you think? Uh, 19. Oh, that's a beautiful picture. And having never written a song before, she got her inspiration from her favorites. I came before the Beatles. All you need is the words. The music comes later. Yeah. Just like the Beatles did it. Rock come from the ships got built before the Beatles were best known. And after leaving the hospital, Marjorie got to work. And then said, bye Marjorie, hope that the song sells. I said, yeah. Adios, amigo. I hope so. <laughs> Another day begins when most folks are still asleep. We cook, we clean, we shop with pride. Our love runs very deep. I'm the caretaker. Yes, the caretaker. Take care of you. Marjorie says the song is for her caretakers and for all caretakers. If she can't thank each of them personally, she hopes they hear this song. I'm thinking of the people at the hospital that need help, AIDS. This is the song, the AIDS. I wouldn't be in this apartment if it wasn't for my caretakers. Thank you very much. We're the caretakers. Yes, the caretakers. Cares what we do. And Marjorie wants to thank those who also helped her by composing the piece. And you can find the song Caretaker by Marjorie Hall and Greater Appreciation on YouTube. Oh, what a song! What a lady! I feel like I'm going to cry when part of me wants to stab. I'm the caretaker. Oh, we'll take, take care, care of you. you. I love it. Yes. Oh, Keep up goodness. the amazing work, and obviously, thank you to all of those caretakers out there. Oh. We love it. Keep up the amazing work. But we are just getting started here.